We welcome you back to the Vicky Kazee Hall of Field Softball Complex. Game two on deck between Carson Newman and UVA Wise. Eagles looking for the sweep after prevailing five to four in game number one of today's doubleheader. Carson Newman will hand the ball to Sierra Rogers in the circle for the night cap. The junior has a 6.65 ERA and is 0-3, 11 appearances and nine starts. 26 and a third innings of work. Strikes out a batter an inning, walks a batter an inning. And so Sierra Rogers will get the ball and go to work against Addison Gibson, Bree Frazier, and Kara Long to start this game, which will begin at 2.59 p.m. The first pitch to Gibson is taken off the plate for a ball, and it's 1-0 to begin the at-bat. Gibson, one of three Cavs from game number one who had a multi-hit effort. She was two for four at the plate with two runs scored. The pitch, swing a bouncing ball. Fair ball that kicks foul off of Matazowski at third. And Gibson's aboard on an infield single to start the contest. So a leadoff knock for Gibson. And the first batter reaches for UVA Wise. First pitch inside for a ball to Frazier. It's 1-0. All white jerseys for the Eagles, white tops and white pants. All black jerseys for the Cavs with white numerals on the back. 1-0 to Frazier. Swung on, flipped foul over first. Out of play, 1-1. One one. Carson Newman. Just one, well, I suppose two defensive changes from game number one. Rogers, the 1-1. One, one. Frazier hits foul to the backstop. It's one and two. Brooke Matazowski still plays third. Hayden Dye still plays short. The left side of the infield is the same for the Eagles. The right side shuffles a little bit. Macy Hughes moves from second to her normal position of first base. Well, Riley Sharp gets the nod in the nightcap at second. Pitch upstairs to Frazier. It's two and two. Kennedy Warder still doing the catching for the Eagles, and then the outfield's the same as it was for game one. Trinity Brooks, Abby Martin, and Mary Vandergriff left to right across the outfield. Two and two. Rogers pitches, and Frazier hits it foul back and out of play. Do it over at two balls and two strikes. Balls and two strikes to Frazier, who was one for four with a run scored in game number one. Hughes back aboard the slab and pitching. The 2-2 is lifted down the left center field, alleyway and bouncing to the wall. Brooks picks it up and throws to Die, cuts it off, throw to the plate to Water, is on target and in time. No, not in time. Water dropped the ball. Gibson is safe at home. Frazier over to third on a throw. It's an RBI double and a 1-0 lead for the Highland Cavaliers. Carson Newman had Gibson dead to rights. But Warder dropped the ball on the tag. And Wise is staked to a 1-0 lead. So Cavs strike first. Off of Frazier's RBI double. And up comes Kara Long. Rogers wheels and deals. Long swings. Line drive down the left field line. This bounces past Brooks and will roll all the way into the corner. Long can race for days. She is around third. She wants the inside the park home run. The throw to the plate is not in time. Kara Long has it. An inside the park home run down the left field line. Brooks tried to dive and field it on the line. 
It bounced past her, rolled all the way into the corner, and the Cavs strike for three with nobody out here in the top of the first. First inside the park home run that Carson Newman has given up since March 31st last year. Barrett takes a first pitch strike, nothing in one. Grace Cochran did it for Lincoln Memorial in this park, March 31 last season. 0-1, Barrett off the plate away, one and one. Eyes finds itself in the same position that it found itself in game one, ahead with a three spot in the first. Single, double, inside the park home run for the Cavs, the 1-1. One, one. Taken for a strike, one and two to Barrett. Carson Newman, no doubt, doing some what if here. Cavs sent Gibson as this pitch goes high for a ball on Frazier's double, and the Eagles had her dead to rights at the plate. The ball popped out of Kennedy Warder's mitt on the tag, and Gibson was able to score the 2-2. High for ball three, three and two to Barrett. And then Brooks playing aggressive. Dive for Long's base hit. Bounce pass her, gets into the corner, and that plate's two. Here's the three, two. Called strike three on the inner black, and Barrett takes a seat looking. One away in the top of the first. But the Cavs have hung a crooked number to start this game. Brings up Johnson. Rogers pitches. Johnson hits it foul to the netting behind home plate, nothing in one. Johnson 0 for 4 with a strikeout in game number one. One of three Cavs from the opening contest who was hitless in the first game of the Twinville, the 0 1. Swing and a miss, Johnson late, nothing in two. Three runs off of three hits here in the top of the first inning for UVA Wise. O2. Down and away for a ball one and two. One and two. Fouled off the Poles holding up the net behind home plate. Stays a ball and two strike with one out, and the base is empty in the top of the first. A 3 0 lead for UVA Wise. Rogers. One and two, and pitching. This is inside for a ball, two and two to Johnson. Michael Graves asking, where did that one miss to home plate umpire? Don Spencer. Here's the two, two. Down and in for ball three. And Johnson has battled back to load the count. Pitch lifted to right center field. Abby Martin on her horse, ranges to the alleyway and settles under it to get Johnson. So two away from McCauley. Carson Newman has settled in to get the last two after the first three reach. Gibson an infield single to third. Frazier the double for an RBI. And then Kara Long with the inside the park home run. pitch that hits McCauley on her left knee she gets 
plunked. And it's a two out base runner for the Highland Cavaliers. McCauley leaned into it too and then it hit her face. A double owie for Emma McCauley who was a pinch hit batter in game one. She's a two out base runner now for the designated player Allison. Allison one for two with a single and she got plunked in game one. Rodgers pitches. Allison swings and misses late, nothing and one. Pitch, swing and a miss. Allison tardy again, nothing and two. Pitch, swing and a miss on a pitch down. And that's the inning. So Sierra Rogers settles down after giving up three hits in the first three batters she faces. And it's a 3 0 deficit for the Eagles. After a half inning, Martin Brooks and Hughes will look to respond after this on the Eagle Sports Network. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. The number one source for Carson Newman Athletics gear is shopcneagles.com, where you can find gear from Adidas, Columbia, Nike, and Under Armour. Shirts, jerseys, sweatshirts, shorts, pants, hats, and scarves. Shopcneagles.com is your source for everything CN. You can even show your school spirit on your smartphone or tablet. All of your game day essentials can be found in one place. ShopCNEagles.com. Back at the Vicky Kazee Hollifield Softball Complex, Adam Cavalier, happy to have you on hand. Olivia Nolly was penciled into the lineup card as the starter for Karen Bitter's Highland Cavalier Club in the circle. But she has flipped the pitcher and the designated player, and now Allison will start off this game for the Cavaliers with the first pitch strike to Abby Martin. Allison finished out game one with two and a third's innings of one hit shutout ball. And got the Eagles to ground into a pair of double plays. The 0-1, flared foul off of first, and Martin's in a nothing and two hole. Three nothing, Cavaliers lead it here in the home half of the first inning. Adam Cavalier, happy to have you on hand. Here's the 0-2, well upstairs to Martin. It's one and two. Ian Johnson is our director, replay operator, and graphics technician today. And our camera crew, Rick Gentahome, Joshua Butts, and Hunter Williams. Here's the one, two. Martin late and defensively cues it foul off of first, one and two. Olivia Nolly was the scheduled starter, at least on the lineup card, but Karen Bitter opts for the flip. And who can blame her after the way Allison closed out game number one for the Highland Cavaliers. Two and a thirds innings and only needed 25 pitches. As Martin lifts this one over the head of the leaping second baseman Mills and into the right center field alleyway. Martin chugging around first. She trips over the second base bag, lands on her keister on the bag, and is safe with a sit-down double. Abby Martin, aggressive base running, doubles to the right center field gap. The long run for Gibson in center. She did well to get the ball in. 
Martin. Leadoff batter reaches for the Eagles for Trinity Brooks to work with. Brooks. Oh, for two with the run scored in game number one. Bunts the first pitch foul off of third, nothing and one. Three nothing. The lead for UVA Wise on Carson Newman. We got Allison in the circle with Emma McCauley behind the plate. That's the lone defensive change for the Cavs as Brooks takes inside for a ball, and it's one and one. One ball and one strike to Trinity Brooks. Infield goes Osmus, Long, Mills, and Johnson third to first. The one one. Brooks takes high and in for a ball, two and one. And then in the outfield, Barrett plays in left, Gibson in center. And Frazier is in right. Allison, two and one, and pitching. Brooks slices it foul onto Davis Street. Bounces away from the road as a black four-door truck drives by, and it's two and two to Brooks. Shocking amount of targets on Davis Street. Five vehicles parked right in the line of fire. Two, two. Down to Brooks. And that loads the count three and two. Don Spencer is our home plate umpire today for the nightcap. Bobby Troutman is at first base, and Bobby Gosnell is at third for the nightcap of this doubleheader. Cavs in the driver's seat early, 3 0. The 3 2 stays high, and Brooks is aboard first on the base on balls. So a leadoff double for Abby Martin. And then a seven pitch walk to Trinity Brooks. And Macy Hughes comes up with runners on second and first. Hughes one for three in game number one. She takes up and away for a ball, one and oh. One ball, no strikes. Nobody out. Two on for the Eagles. Trailing three to nothing. Here's the 1 0. Hughes takes a called strike at the knees. It's 1 and 1. One ball, one strike to Macy Hughes. Outfield straight away for Hughes. The pitch. Bashed foul to the backstop. 1 and 2. Three runs off of three hits in the top of the first for the Cavs. Lead off double for Abby Martin. A seven pitch walk to Trinity Brooks. The Eagles have two on base for Macy Hughes. Allison pitches in the turf for a ball. It bounced away from McCauley, but she recovers to grab it and keep the runners where they are. Two and two. Allison checks her wrist. Gets the sign and the break even. Up and away, ball three to Macy Hughes. Carson, looking, Carson Newman looking to fire back here in the home half of the first after falling behind three to nothing. Payoff pitch to the plate. Allison fires and Hughes nips it foul back and out of play. Do it over at three balls and two strikes. Three balls, two strikes. With nobody out. Martin on second, Brooks on first. The pitch. Hughes will ground it into the hole at short. Long fields, flips to second for one. Relay to Johnson at first, not in time to get Hughes. So a productive ground ball for Hughes brings Martin 60 feet away from scoring and there's runners on the corners with one out for Hayden Dye Dye 
one for three with three driven in in game number one. One out, runners on the corners. Eagles down three runs. As the first pitch to die is high for a ball. One and oh. 19 pitches for Bailey Allison. 10 for strikes. She threw 25 pitches in her two and thirds innings of relief work in game number one. Here's the 1 0. Die smashes it through the right side. Base hit and a run scored. Die drives in Abby Martin as the Eagles go station to station. And it's a 3 1 ball game off of Hayden Die's fourth RBI of the doubleheader. So Hayden Die drives in the first run of the day for Carson Newman. And Brooke Matizowski comes to the plate for the Eagles. Allison pitches, and Matizowski looks at a pitch upstairs for a ball, 1-0. One ball, no strikes, one out. Eagles have gotten one back here in the bottom of the first inning as Karen Bitter is out from the dugout to have a chat with the Cavaliers infield. Carson Newman threatening here in the bottom of the first inning. Aiden Dye with a RBI single through the right side to get the Eagles within two runs, three to one. Carson Newman looking to stay perfect in the South Atlantic Conference. Eagles winners of eight in a row. Dating back to a March 2nd loss, or pardon me, a March 7th loss at Southern Wesleyan. Eagles are 10 and two for the month of March. One and zero to Matizowski. The pitch. Ida Matazowski, 2 0. Matazowski drove in two in game one, one for two. The one was a home run on top of the infield hitting facility and left. The indoor hitting facility with the 2 0. Matazowski ropes foul off of first, 2 and 1. three and Carson Newman one bottom of the first inning one out and two on the two one Matizowski looks at it on the outside edge for strike two two and two two balls two strikes one out Hughes on second die on first the break-even pitch is in the turf it's grabbed by the shortstop who throws to first for one. The throw gets away from the first baseman, Johnson, sliding home safely is Macy Hughes, and it's a one-run game on the throwing air. So Matizowski reaches on the fielder's choice to short. Hayden Redai is retired 6-4, to four, and Macy Hughes scores on a throwing air by the second baseman, Mills. So two out. Eagles trade the out for the run, aided by the error. And now Brooklyn Lucero stands in, taking a first pitch strike, nothing and one. Three two ball game, bottom first. Allison the 0 1. Lucero takes low for a ball, it's one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Allison, the 1-1. One, one. Lucero checks her swing and a pitch down. The appeal into the field. She did not come around, and it's 2-1 to Lucero. Yeah. 
Two balls and a strike to Lucero. Allison the pitch. Lucero swings, ropes it down the right field line, sinking quickly, but Frazier is to it quickly, and she gets it and retires Lucero on a well-hit ball. But the Eagles get two back, one earned, one unearned, and it's a 3-2 ball game after one. Cavs lead it. Back after this on the Eagles Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From foot-long hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. Sierra Rogers back to work in the circle, facing off against Mills with a pitch upstairs to begin the at-bat at 1-0. and Offensive explosion here through an inning. Cavs with three in the top of the first, Eagles with two in the bottom of the first. 1-0 the pitch. Check swing and a pitch up, it's 1-0 to Mills. UVAY's got an RBI double from... Bree Frazier to left center to start the Cavs scoring. Then Kara Long hit an inside the park home run to drive in two down the left field line, the 2-0. Upstairs for ball three, and Mills is in front at three and nothing. Eagles would counter in the bottom of the first. An RBI single through the right side for Hayden Dye, and then Brooke Matizowski reached on a fielder's choice. Cavs tried to turn a double play, but the throw to first was wide of the bag, and that allowed runner from third to score. Pitch upstairs, leadoff walk. Leadoff batter reaches for a second straight inning for the Cavs. Mills aboard. Matea Osmus to work with. Osmus 0 for 2 in game number one. First pitch to Osmus, bunted. Warder will field in fair ground. Throw to first to Riley, sharp covering. The sacrifice bunt works two to four. Mills over to second base, and there's one out. And a runner in scoring position for the Cavs as the lineup turns back to the top of the order for Gibson. Gibson single to Matazowski at third, her first time up. First pitch, Gibson came around on it and she's behind at nothing and one. Oh one, check swing, came around again to Gibson and it's nothing and two. O2. Called strike three. Gibson takes a seat looking, and there's two away. After the leadoff walk to Mills, a sacrifice bunt and a strikeout. And it comes to Frazier. Hit an RBI double her first time up to left center field. First pitch to Frazier is taken high for a ball, 1-0. One ball, no strikes, two outs. Three to two, Cavs lead it, top of the second inning. Three in the first for Wise, two in the first for the Eagles. 
Here's the 1 0. Popped foul by Frazier. Back and out of play, 1 and 1. One and one. Rogers pitches low to Frazier. Two and one. Two one. Fouled to the backstop. Two and two. Two two, line drive foul, off of our crowd mic. Do it over at two and two. That crowd mic sits adjacent the building here on the first base side, and that foul ball was screaming off the fence right by it. Wind blowing out to left. Rogers set for the two two. Here it comes, swing and a miss, strike three. Sierra Rogers. Fans two in the frame and back to back. Three to two, Wise leads it. Headed to the bottom of the second. Lower third of the order due up for the Eagles. Vandergriff, Sharp, and Warder ahead on the Eagles Sports Network. There's something about a small community that unites us. Whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. Insurance, it's about people, not things. It's about security. It's about confidence. It's about relationships. It's about trust. It's about you. As a local independent agent, Bible Insurance Agency can design an insurance program that's just right for you and your family. Give the people you love safe, sound, secure protection from auto owners insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency, 423-586-4320. Or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. First pitch from Allison to Vandergriff is in the turf for a ball, and it's 1-0 and to begin at Mary Vandergriff's at-bat. First at-bat of game number two. She was one for two with a single and a walk in game one, the 1-0. Inside again, 2-0 to Vandergriff. Cavs lead it 3-2 here in the bottom of the second inning. Adam Cavalier, happy to ha have you on hand. On a sunny Tuesday afternoon on the banks of Mossy Creek. He was trying for the sweep against the Cavs, the 2-0. Inside again to Vandergriff, and it's four or 3-0. 32 pitches for Allison. 16 for strikes. Olivia Nolly was listed as the starter in the circle, but Aaron Bitter switched the pitcher in the DP before the first. Vandergriff takes ball four. Second free pass for Bailey Allison. Emma McCauley out from behind home plate to have a word with her sophomore starter. Eagles get the leadoff batter aboard for a second consecutive inning. Riley Sharp will climb in. Sharp has been nicked and dinged in her freshman season. Eighth game played and third start for the freshman infielder. Works with Vandergriff on first. Cavs infield at double play depth. As Sharp takes a first pitch, strike nothing and one. Allison has done a nice job in the circle. Not a lot hitting the air off of her. Time has learned 
lended itself to a lot of double play balls for the Cavs. This is outside for a ball, one and one. Cavs successfully turned a pair of one, six, three double plays in game number one. The one, one. Check swing and a strike on the outer half, one and two. UVA Wise was trying to turn a 6-4-3 double play to end the first, but the throw to first went wide of the bag. That allowed the second run of that inning to score for the Eagles. One and two to Sharp. Allison pitches. Sharp will lift it softly into shallow center field. It is a long run for the center fielder, Gibson, who makes it nearly to the edge of the infield turf before she grabs that one to get Sharp. The shortstop long and the second baseman Mills in no man's land. Trying to cover second for the double play ball. Resulting in the long run for Gibson. Brings up Kennedy Warder who smokes the first pitch foul down the left field line. It's nothing in one. 3-2 UVA Wise leads it here in the bottom of the second inning. Mary Vandergriff led off the Inning with a walk before Sharps pop up to center. Now Warder to the plate. One for one with a run scored in game one, the 0-1. Downstairs for a ball, one and one. Warder got plunked as well in the first game, the 1-1. Burns the turf again, ball two. Vandergriff darting off of first, but wisely heads back as McCauley handled the pitch in the turf well. Two and one. Allison deals a changeup. Stays outside for ball three. Three balls, one strike, one out. Wind blowing out to left for the right hand hitting Warder against the right hand hurling. Bailey Allison. 3 1 downstairs for ball four. Second walk of the inning for Allison. Third free pass of the game. And there's two on for Abby Martin. Martin doubled to lead off the game. as Karen Bitter is out from the dugout to have a chat with Bailey Allison. Martin has hit successfully in six of her last eight games. As I think we have, well, maybe we haven't. UVA Wise now will make a pitching change. So a new arm to the circle for the Highland Cavaliers. More on that when we come back after these messages on the Eagle Sports Network. Don't know what to wear on game day? Head over to shopseeandeagles.com for all of your Carson Newman Athletics gear. You can find clothing from Adidas, Columbia, Nike, and Under Armour to cover you from head to toe. ShopSeatEagles.com also has duffel bags, backpacks, jewelry, pet supplies, and gifts. Don't waste any more time. Prove you are the ultimate Carson Newman fan with the official gear of the Eagles at ShopSeatEagles.com. Visit today. Dorm food got you down? Need a home-cooked meal? then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long, from the morning with her $2.99 breakfast specials to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. Three to two, UVA Wise leads it here in the bottom of the second inning. One out, and the Eagles have two on base as Olivia Nolly takes the circle for the Cavs. And her first pitch to Abby Martin bounces off of home plate for ball one. 
Well, break out your rule books for the scoring of this one. Allison does not meet the pitching minimum, the 1 0. On the outside edge for a strike, 1 and 1. And so, technically, there's, here's the 1 1. Big looping bender stays high for a ball, 2 and 1. But technically, Allison wasn't the starter. It was Nolly who was in the lineup card to start this game. Here's the 2 1. Outside for ball three. So, in theory, Allison would not be your pitcher of record. It would be Nolly at present standing who would be your pitcher of record, the 3 1. That finds the edge of the plate for a strike, two. Martin had discarded her bat to load the count. So, if that's clear as mud, right now, Allison does exit in line for a win should this 3-2 margin hold for the remainder of the game, the 3-2. Martin will bounce it back to the circle. Nolly will turn and throw to third to get the lead runner. That's out number two. Vandergriff retired one to five on the fielder's choice. Warder over to second, and Martin is into first. And there's two away. So a pair of walks for Allison in the inning. Turn things over to Nolly, and she gets the first batter, or gets it out with the first batter that she faces. Brings up Trinity Brooks, who takes low for a ball, 1-0. Nolly pitched last season against Carson Newman, went four and a thirds innings. The Eagles tagged her for 17 hits and 10 runs. The 1-0. Brooks takes on the outside edge for a strike, 1-1. One one. Eagles would love a repeat of that performance here against Nolly, but she's generated a ground ball in and out. The first batter that she's faced. Two out and two on, the one one. Brooks takes low for a ball, two and one. You might hear music off in the distance. That's because Carson Newman baseball is taking on 11th ranked Young Harris down the hillside on Davis Street. 11th ranked Mountain Lions, a one nothing lead with two on and one out in the top of the third. Nolly. Checks her wrist with a sign back aboard the slab. Here's the 2 1. Brooks swings, line drive down the left field line. It bounces past the diving left fielder, Barrett, and rattles into the corner. Brooks will score two. She is chugging around third. Brooks wants an inside the park home run. Brooks slides in safely. One inside the park home run begets another. Trinity Brooks touches them all and drives in three. Eagles lead. A go ahead inside the park home run for Trinity Brooks. It's a 5-3 lead for the Eagles. Firm work by the lefty slapper. Brings up Macy Hughes, who takes a strike at the belt, and it's nothing and one. Those runs are both charged, or the first two runs are charged to Allison as Hughes wallops this pitch back up the box for a two-out base hit. And Hughes keeps the line moving. So an inside the park home run for Trinity Brooks has staked the Eagles to a 5-3 lead. And now Macy Hughes will try to keep the line moving. First pitch to die is in the turf for a ball, 1-0. How about that? An inside the park home run for both teams here in the nightcap. The 1 0. Outside for a ball, 2 0. Now I'm going to have to check myself on this one. But I believe, I believe against West Virginia State in 2021, here's the 2 0. Upstairs for a ball, 3-0. Sienna Cameron, no, Leah Soam and Macy Hughes both had inside the park home runs for Carson Newman against the Yellow Jackets. 
And here's the 3 0. Dodd takes a strike, 3 and 1. And a player for the Yellow Jackets had an inside the park home run. That might be. I might be conflating games in a doubleheader, the 3-1. Die will roll it to short. Long fields, underhand flip to the second baseman, Mills covering. And that is the final out of the inning. But Trinity Brooks, a two-out inside the park home run, drives in three and gives Carson Newman a 5-3 lead after two. Long, Barrett, and Johnson, meet of the order, do up for the Cavs after this on the Eagles Sports Network. Sure, we've been around a while, 171 years to be exact. We know the power of a liberal arts-based Christian education and the tremendous potential of what can be found on this campus, within this community. We are adventurers, dreamers, believers, passionate and compassionate, curious and clever, driven by a common purpose towards a common goal. I found my passion. I found purpose. We are Carson Newman. What will you find? Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. Carson Newman is staked to a 5-3 lead after a three RBI inside the park home run for Trinity Brooks. Two in the first, three in the second for Carson Newman. We come to the top of the third inning and long leading off for the Cavs. Taking low and away for a ball, 1-0. Well, Trinity Brooks had an inside the park home run the last time she was up. You know who else did? Tara Long. A two RVI inside the park home run down the left field line at that, the 1 0. High and outside for a ball, 2 0. Long has had a quality doubleheader by whatever metric you want to utilize. Three for four at the plate with two runs scored and two driven in through the twin bill, the 2 0. Downstairs for ball three. Long hitting 451 now. Pending the outcome of games in the sack, she could overtake Claire Meltzer for the league lead in batting average. Takes a strike on the outer half, 351. Long started the doubleheader, batting 436. She's got it up to 451 now with her efforts today. The 3-1. Hit foul back in out of play for strike two. 451 is equal to Tusculum's Claire Smeltzer at the top of the league's batting average charts. 3-2. Rogers fires. Long takes low for ball four. So Wise gets the leadoff batter aboard with a walk for a second straight inning. Wise has gotten a leadoff batter on base every inning so far today. Top of the third inning. It's a 5-3 lead for Carson Newman. A three-run inside the park home run for Trinity Brooks has given Carson Newman the lead as Sarah Barrett comes up. Struck out looking her first time through. Rodgers pitches and Barrett swings and misses. Nothing in one. Nothing in one. Rogers, the pitch. Fouled by Barrett, back and out of play, 0-2. Nothing in two, and pitching. Ground ball hit hard to short. Dive fields, 
Throws to second to Sharp for one. No relay to first. Eagles get the lead runner and nothing else. Long retired. Barrett's aboard on the fielder's choice. And Barrett replaces Long at first base. The first baseman, Savannah Johnson, to come to the plate. Johnson 0 for 1 today. Righty stands in after flying out to right her first time up. Rogers deals, and the first pitch is hit foul and over the press box on the first base side, nothing and one. A one. Burns the turf for a ball. Warder keeps it in front to keep Barrett at first, and it's one and one. The one one. Check swing and a strike at the handles on the outer half. One and two. One and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Sierra Rogers picks up her fifth K of the day. And there's two away with a runner on first in the top of the third. Five, three. Carson Newman leads UVA Wise here in the nightcap. Three runs off of three hits and an error for the Cavs. Five runs off of four hits and no errors for the Eagles. The pitch to McCauley is swung on and missed. Nothing in one. McCauley got plunked her first time up. A one. Lifted down the right field line. Vandergriff drifts into fair ground and makes the catch a foot inside of the stripe to get McCauley. Second straight inning that UVA Wise gets a leadoff walk. Second straight inning that the Cavs are unable to take advantage of that leadoff walk. Matazowski, Lucero, and Vandergrift to the plate for the Eagles in the bottom of the third with a 5-3 lead after this on the Eagles Sports Network. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City has deals for Carson Newman students. Bring in your valid student ID when you order for pickup or delivery, and Domino's in Jefferson City will give you a steaming hot large one-topping pizza for $4.99. That's a large one-topping pizza for Carson Newman students for $4.99 at Domino's in Jeff City. Call 865-471-6700 to order. That's 865-471-6700. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. Okay, let's see. I'm ready to do this. Carson Newman, it's been around since 1851. Lots of flexible online programs. Wow. World-class accredited academics. A faith and learning environment with professors who really care about me. A top 10 best value school. Carson Newman gives $48 million a year in financial aid. This is the perfect place. I'm in. UVA Wise is on to its third pitcher of the day. Savannah Paul comes into work. And her first pitch is inside to Brooke Matazowski for ball one, one and oh. Paul, 0-2 this season, a 10.50 ERA in 12 innings of work. She's given up 23 hits and 25 runs, 1-0. Matizowski looks at it low for ball two, 2-0. Two oh. Opponents with a 2.92 whip on Paul, so she's giving up nearly three base runners an inning, the 2-0. Down and into Matizowski, three and nothing. 12 walks and 12 innings of work. Also has nearly a strikeout an inning, does Paul. Here's the 3-0 to Matizowski. Down and in for ball four, leadoff walk for Brooke Matizowski. Five 
5-3 Eagles lead it here in the bottom of the third inning. Mercer Newman has hung crooked numbers. The first two times it's come to the plate as Lucero stands in, taking low for ball 1-1-0. One, one oh. The Eagles have two in the first, one earned, one unearned, and then three in the second on Trinity Brooks. Three run inside the park home run, the 1-0. That finds the plate at the belt for a strike, one and one. BAY scored three times in the top of the first, an RBI double for Bree Frazier, then a two run inside the park home run for Kara Long. Here's the 1-1. Change up, Lucero checks her swing and a pitch down, two and one. Eagles would counter in the bottom of the first, an RBI single through the right side for Hayden Dye before the Cavs tried to turn two, but a throwing error trying to get the second out at first, the 2-1. Strike at the belt, two and two. Let Macy Hughes score from second on a potential inning ending double play. And then bottom of the second, Brooks the three run inside the park home for the Eagles. The two two, Lucero flips it foul back and out of play. Do it again at two balls and two strikes. Lucero has hit the ball well here in the double header, but as of yet doesn't have anything to show for it. 0 for 3 in the Twinville, the 2-2. Lucero will bounce this one foul off the facing of Wise's dugout on the third base side. 2-2. Two and two. She has pummeled pitches to right twice and been retired with great work and shading by Bree Frazier in right twice. Aaron Bitter wanted to come out and have a chat with Third base umpire Bobby Gosnell. Not sure what the cause for the visit was. Count is two and two for sure. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up to Brooklyn Lucero. Here's the two two. Lucero swings hard hit ball into the hole at second. Mills grabs throw to first in time for two. Four, six, three, Cavs ring up their third double play of the double header. Bases are empty and now there's two out in the bottom of the third. Mills to Long to Johnson. Cavs turn two and now Mary Vandergriff comes up with the bases empty. The first pitch to Vandergriff is low for a ball, one and oh. Well, two inside the park home runs. I'm going to have to do a little bit deeper dive. The 1 0. Get fouled at the netting. 1 and 1. For the last time it happened, if it has happened in a game, with an inside the park home run for each team in a game featuring the Eagles. My memory misserved me a little bit. The 1 1. Vandergriff will line it to center. And right in the sights of Gibson to finish the frame. More on inside the park home runs when we come back. 5-3, Eagles lead it after three here on the Eagles Sports Network. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. The number one source for Carson Newman Athletics gear is ShopCNEagles.com, where you can find gear from Adidas, Columbia, Nike, and Under Armour. Shirts, jerseys, sweatshirts, shorts, pants, hats, and scarves. ShopCNEagles.com is your source for everything CN. You can even show your school spirit on your smartphone or tablet. All of your game day essentials can be found in one place. ShopCNEagles.com. Five three, Carson Newman leads it as we come to the top of the fourth inning, with Allison Mills and Osmus due up for the Highland Cavaliers. 
Eight runs in this game between the Eagles and Cavs as Rodgers pitches to Allison, who takes a first pitch strike at the knees, nothing and one. Of those eight runs, five have been the byproduct of inside the park home runs. Nothing and one to Allison is upstairs for ball one and one. You had Kara Long with an inside the park home run for UVA Wise in the first. Trinity Brooks with a three run inside the park home run to give the Eagles the lead in the bottom of the second. One and one the pitch. High for ball two to Allison, two and one. And I thought maybe that there were inside the park home runs for both teams in the game between Carson Newman and West Virginia State. Turns out that it was back in 2022. The 2 1 burns the turf for a ball, three and one. And I was sort of right. There's actually two inside the park home runs in the same inning, but it was both for Carson Newman. Macy Hughes and Leah Soam did it for Carson Newman, but West Virginia State didn't have one. 3-1 to Allison. Swing and a miss on a pitch down. Ball clipped home plate umpire Don Spencer in one of his legs, I believe. And it's 3-2. and two. Well, Don Spencer will... Head over to be examined. We'll get a second look. Yep, uh, it didn't hit him in the leg. Uh, there's a reason why Don Spencer needs a second. Thought it clipped him on his ankle coming through, but did not clip him on his ankle. So Don Spencer will receive some extended attention from his umpiring counterparts, Bobby Troutman and Bobby Gosnell. And we'll we'll hold here. Three and two to Allison. Down the street on Davis Street at the Silver Diamond Baseball Complex. Eagles were in a one nothing ball game with Young Harris after two. And now the Mountain Lions have exploded. Seven runs in the bottom of the, or in the top of the third inning for Young Harris for an eight nothing lead on the Eagles. Mountain Lions have gone RBI single, RBI double, three-run home run, solo bomb, error to produce a run. Well, Don Spencer's good. Here's the 3-2. It's belted high into the air down the left field line by Allison, but twisting foul and to the front yard of whoever owns that yellow-sided house at the corner of Davis Street, do it again at three balls and two strikes. Five, three Eagles lead it here in the top of the fourth inning. Rogers, the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Allison Fan, Rogers has her sixth strikeout of the day, and there's one out for the second baseman, Abigail Mills. Mills walked her first time up. That was to lead off the second inning. One out, and the base is empty here in the fourth. First pitch to Mills is a touch low for a ball, 1-0. Mills batting 216 this year, 16 knocks and 74 trips to the plate. Rogers, the 1 0. Fouled back and out of play. It's 1 and 1. One ball, one strike, one out. Carson Newman, a 5 3 lead on UVA Wise here on the top of the fourth. Rogers, the 1 1 to the plate. Swung on towards center. Going back, Martin. A step in front of the warning track, and she settles under it in front of the 220 sign. 
to put away Mills on a well-struck ball. Two away. Brings up the nine-hole hitting. Matea Osmus. Osmus has not registered an official at-bat here in game two. She's 0 for 2 for the doubleheader. Has a sacrifice bunt here in the nightcap. And the first pitch to Osmus is in the turf for ball one, 1-0. One 66 pitches for Sierra Rogers, 40 for strikes. Carson Newman, a 5-3 lead. Here in the top of the fourth inning. Rogers, the 1-0. Check swing and a pitch down. 2-0. Two balls, no strikes. Two outs. Five runs off of four hits for the Eagles. Three runs off of three hits for the Cavs. The 2-0 stays high and outside. Ball three to Osmus. After Osmus, the lineup turns back to the top of the order for Gibson. Gibson, Frazier, and Long. The next three do up for the Cavs, and they've got the three hits for Wise. The 3-0 finds the plate for a strike, three and one. Carson Newman. Looking for an 8 and 0 start in league play. The 3 1. Zooms at the knees for a strike. Rodgers has battled back to load it up at 3 and 2. And who we would have thought that for Carson Newman after the Eagles started the season at 2 and 10. Since February 25th, they've been in fine fettle. Payoff pitch to the plate. Hit foul off a third. Osmus hangs around at three and two. Carson Newman. Winners of now 15 of their last 17 games, trying to make it 16 of 18. If they can get the sweep of UVA Wise here in the nightcap. One game one, five to four, and a nail biter. Rallied from three runs down and a stave off a calf comeback in the seventh. The three two. Foul back and out of play. Do it over again at three balls and two strikes. Wise left the tying run on third in game one of the doubleheader. And Emma Frost got a pop up to second to finish off the game one win. Three and two. Rodgers, the payoff pitch. Cue ball foul off of Osmus' legs. Try it again at three and two. Ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Base is empty for the Cavs in the top of the fourth. Eagles leading five to three. Rodgers rocks and rolls. The three two. This is hammered down the left field line. Osmus will put this one on the roof of the indoor hitting facility. Osmus goes yard for the first time this season. She wins a nine pitch battle and it's a one run ball game. First home run of the year for Matea Osmus. And the Cavs pull within one, it's five to four. So Osmus. Homers, and the lineup flips back to the top of the order for Addison Gibson. First runs that the Eagles have given up since that three-run first. The first pitch to Gibson is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. One ball, no strikes, two outs. 5-4, Carson Newman leads it over UVA Wise. Wind gusting out to left, the 1-0. Oh. Gibson flips foul. Onto the front lawn of the Heritage Dorm, one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Rogers, one one offering. Take him low and away for ball two, two and one. Rogers trying to limit the damage to the lone. Two out solo shot. The pitch in the turf for ball three. 
78 pitches for Sierra Rogers, 47 for strikes. Three and two thirds innings of work. She's given up four hits and four runs. Two walks against six strikeouts. Three of the four hits have been for extra bases. The three one offer. That finds the plate for strike two. Giving up a double and inside the park home run and your more traditional out of the park home run down the left field line to Matea Osmus. 3-2. Swing a bouncing ball back up the middle. That's through for a base hit. Die was pulled in toward the, th the third baseline at short. She gave it a dive, but the ball had eyes, and Gibson's aboard with a base hit. Cavs extend their two-out rally. Time run on for UVA Wise in the top of the fourth. A 5-4 ball game for the right fielder, Bree Frazier. Frazier is one for two here in the nightcap. As Rogers pitches in the turf for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Frazier, an RBI double her first time up, a strikeout swinging her second time up. As the speedy Gibson on first. With two out. 1-0 count, the pitch. Finds the plate for a strike at the belt, one and one. One ball, one strike, two out. Top of the fourth inning, 5-4, Eagles leading. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Stays high for ball two, two and one. Have scored three in the first and one here in the uh, top of the fourth. Carson Newman struck for two in the bottom of the first and three in the bottom of the second. 2-1. Rogers deals. This is low across the plate for ball three. After Frazier, you get the ever dangerous Kara Long. He's trying to extend his two-out rally. The 3-1. Yeah. Paints the inner half at the knees to load the count at 3-2. and two. Fourth batter of the inning that has reached a 3-2 count. Allison struck out swing. Osmus Homer. Gibson is single through the left side. All off of 3-2 pitches. Here's the payoff. Swung on, grounded to second. No trouble for Sharp, who stoops to field and throws out Frazier at first, four to three. But a two-out blast from Osmus makes it a 5-4 ball game. Eagles lead cut to a run. Sharp, order, Martin to the plate after this on the Eagles Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. First pitch to Riley Sharp is in for a ball from Savannah Paul. She rocks and fires the 1 0. On the outside edge for strike one, 1 and 1. Sharp's 0 for 1 today. She popped up to center. A ball hitting the no man's land, but Gibson had the wheels to chase it down. A 1 1. Sharp takes outside for ball two, 2 and 1. Two balls, one strike to lead one. 
Sharp will hang high down the left field line. It is foul and onto the netting. It's off the batting cages for a noisy strike two, two and two. Good luck getting that one down. Paul, an inning of relief. He worked around the walk, the 2-2. Two -two. He was low for a ball, three and two. But for a player coming in with a 10-5-0 ERA, she's brought down her ERA by a run already. And so far has pitched well, the 3-2. Sharp flips it foul off of first. This is on the press box side and out of play. Count stays full on Sharp. Sharp missed some time to an injury through late February, early March. The 3-2 off the plate away, ball four. Lead off walk for the Eagles for a second straight inning. UVA Wise has been so doggone good at turning two. They've had three double plays through the double header. Two in game one, one here in the nightcap. As Sharp is on base for Kennedy Warder to work with, who takes low for a ball, 1-0. and 5-4, Eagles lead, bottom of the fourth inning. Nobody out and Sharp on first. 1-0, Warder swings, bounces this ball deep into the hole at short. Long backhands it into her glove, no throw, an infield single for Kennedy Warder. Long did well just to get to that one, kept it in the infield and kept it so that the Eagles could only go station to station. Tough play for Kara Long to make. The first two in the bottom of the fourth reach for the Eagles. Sharp to second, Warder to first after the single, and now the lineup turns back to the top of the order for Martin, who bunts. Back to the circle, Paul Fields throws to first in time to Mills. The sacrifice works one to four and Warder and Sharp are into scoring position for Trinity Brooks. So Abby Martin puts the sacrifice bunt into practice. To give the Eagles two runners in scoring position and one out and Michael Graves has his lineup card out. I would presume to pinch hit for the slap hitting Brooks with two in scoring position. And indeed, that is what he will do. Skyler Jacob will get a pinch hit knock here, or get a shot at a pinch hit knock. Jacob, 333 hitter, three hits and nine trips. Takes a first pitch strike at the belt, nothing and one. Jacob looking for her first hit of the season with a runner in scoring position. She has driven in two, the 0-1. That's outside for a ball, one and one. The two that she drove in came as the byproduct of a two-run blast she hit with a runner on first against Kentucky State, 1-1. Jacob will pop it up, third base side. It's in foul ground, and settling under it is Osmus. Makes the grab in the third base coach's box. You could not ask for a better put out for Savannah Paul in the circle. Carson Newman cannot plate a run with an out now. Macy Hughes will look at, for a two out knock to extend a 5-4 lead in the bottom of the fourth. Hughes. Makes the first pitch for a strike at the belt on the inner half. Nothing and one. Hughes is one for two here in the night cap. Grounded into a fielder's choice and singled back up the middle. Nothing and one. Paul pitches. And Hughes takes on the outer half for strike two. Carson Newman got the first two to reach. Sharp walked. Warder an infield single. Martin sacrificed the pair in a scoring position, but then... Skyler Jacobs foul out, put out number two on the board. The pitch, check swing, and a pitch low. Hughes kept the bat on her shoulder. It's one and two. No appeal into the field, but Hughes definitely did keep the bat back. 
One ball and two strikes. Ball, the pitch. Stays upstairs, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Carson Newman looking for a timely two out lick. To extend a 5 4 lead here in the bottom of the fourth. The break even pitch. Hughes swings, lifts it deep left center field, back to the wall. It's gone. Macy Hughes drops the hammer. Eagles stretch the lead to four runs, eight to four, off of Macy Hughes' second home run of the season. Hughes gets the tank. And it's an 8-4 ball game for Carson Newman. Macy Hughes has gone yard for the 26th time in her career. She is tied with Lisa Rogers for seventh all time. As Hayden Dye takes the first pitch strike to begin her at bat at nothing and one. Eight four lead for Carson Newman. Macy Hughes moves up the home run charts and extends the lead. 0 1 off the plate away. Ball one, it's one and one. Third home run that Savannah Paul has given up in 13 and two thirds innings of work this season. The 1 1 die. Tomahawks in a pitch upstairs, one and two. Three runs across here in the bottom of the fourth off of Macy Hughes. Three run moonshot. Paul, the one two. Outside for a ball, two and two. Eight four Eagles, bottom fourth inning. Hughes with a two out lick. We'll stretch the lead to four runs. Here's the two two. Change up that die stayed back on and bounced foul off of first two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. The two two die will pop up high into left. This one is gusting as Barrett. Shuffling, shuffling, and settles under it to retire die. Well, Baird had the battle to the win, but the left fielder wins the battle. But it comes a batter too late. Macy Hughes, a three-run moonshot. Stretches the lead to 8-4. We head to the fifth after this on the Eagles Sports Network. There's something about a small community that unites us. Whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. Insurance, it's about people, not things. It's about security. It's about confidence. It's about relationships. It's about trust. It's about you. As a local independent agent, Bible Insurance Agency can design an insurance program that's just right for you and your family. Give the people you love safe, sound, secure protection from auto owners insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency, 423-586-4320. Or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Eight-four, Carson Newman leads it as we come to the top of the fifth inning, and Nicolette Ferguson takes over in the circle for the Eagles. Three-four-three three ERA with a three-and-one record and a save. And Thirty-four and two-thirds innings of work, and her first pitch to Long is low for a ball. One and zero. Oh. Sierra Rogers exits with a lead and is in position for a win after giving up five hits and four runs and a four-inning start, the 1-0. Check swing foul, one and one to long. And technically, Ferguson could qualify for a three-inning save if she were to close out this game. But 
There's a lot of softball between now and then. The 1-1. One, one. Change up for a strike, one and two to long. The four-run lead, Arson Newman. Score four runs in an inning, the one, two. Another check swing foul off a third. Long stays alive at a ball and two strikes. You can see this one in via the run rule. UVA Wise has shown that they're capable of hanging crooked numbers. But Ferguson could qualify for a save. One, two, rip foul off a of first. Rogers is your pitcher of record for the Eagles. For the Cavs, it is Allison. Who's responsible for the four runs that Carson Newman scored to take a 4-3 lead. Here's the 1-2. Downstairs for a ball, 2-2. Two and two. Wise started the game with three in the first, an RBI double from Bree Frazier, followed by a two-run inside the park home run for Kara Long. The Eagles would get two back in the bottom of the first as Ferguson deals the 2-2 two -two to Long in the turf for a ball, 3-2. and two. Aiden Dye skipped a double, or skipped a single through the right side drive-in run and won, and then the Cavs were trying to turn a double play, but a throw to first with runners on first and second. Went wide of the first base bag, and that allowed Macy Hughes to score from second to get within a run. And the Eagles would take the lead in the bottom of the second, the 3-2 to Long. That's in the turf for ball four. So the Sacks leader in batting average at 451. Kara Long walks for a second straight plate appearance. And the Cavs get the leadoff batter on base for a fourth time in five innings. And up comes Sarah Barrett. Eagles took the lead in the bottom of the second with the three run inside the park home run for Trinity Brooks. Cavs would answer with an awesome moonshot in the fourth. This pitch, line drive, right to die at short. Throw to first, not in time to get long. Barrett retired on a screeching line drive to die at short. And there's one away for Johnson. So Osmus homered in the top of the fourth for the Cavs. Eagles would answer with another long ball in the bottom of the fourth. Macy Hughes with her 26th career home run to tie Lisa Rogers on the all-time list. First pitch to Johnson. Is outside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. One 1-0. Oh. Low for ball two. Two oh finds the plate at the knees for a strike two and one. The pitch swing and a miss strike two. Pitch was down. Johnson went up. And Ferguson evens the count at two balls and two strikes. Two and two, Ferguson pitches. Low for ball three. Three and two, the pitch. Bounced back to the circle. Ferguson scoops and throws Johnson out at first. A productive out moving long into scoring position. There's two away for McCauley. McCauley 0 for 1. She's fouled out to left and been plunked. Long on second. Ferguson. Back aboard the rubber and hurling. McCauley skips it foul back and out of play. Nothing in one. The 
pitch. Check swing and a strike on the outer half. Nothing in two to McCauley. No balls, two strikes, two outs. 8-4, Eagles leading. Top of the fifth. Ferguson gets the sign from Warder. Here's the 0-2. Tipped foul to the backstop. Count holds it, no, nothing in two on McCauley. Ferguson, nothing in two. The pitch, McCauley defensively kicks it back foul again. Still an 0-2 count. Down at the Silver Diamond Baseball Complex, Young Harris has a 9-0 lead through four and a half innings. 11th ranked Mountain Lions, as good as advertised. The 0-2, low and away to McCauley. A ball and two strikes. Eight runs off of six hits for the Eagles, no errors and two left. Cavs with four runs off of five hits, an error, and four left on base. Ferguson, the one-two pitch. Check swing, fouled off of first. McCauley makes contact, and it's a ball and two strikes. Elsewhere in the South Atlantic Conference, there's two other double headers around the softball diamonds in the league today. The one two. Fouled to the right. Warder will chase after it. Not sure if it stayed in the park or not. That's in one of those no man's land areas of the yard that we do not have a good view of. I'm gonna guess that that landed in Carson Newman's dugout based on the chatter from the peanut gallery. And McCauley sees an eighth pitch of this at bat. Line drive right back at Ferguson, who scoops it into her glove in the circle. What great reaction from the senior out of Irwin, Tennessee. Soft smiles getting her glove to that one to finish off the inning. Cavs strand the leadoff runner long after the walk through four and a half it's an 8-4 lead for the eagles on the eagles sports network don't know what to wear on game day head over to shopcaneagles.com for all of your carson newman athletics gear you can find clothing from adidas columbia nike and under armor to cover you from head to toe shopcaneagles.com also has duffel bags backpacks jewelry pet supplies and gifts don't waste any more time Prove you are the ultimate Carson Newman fan with the official gear of the Eagles at shopcaneagles.com. Visit today. Dorm food got you down? Need a home-cooked meal? Then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long. From the morning with her $2.99 breakfast specials to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. Rook Matazowski leads off the home half of the fifth inning, taking a pitch low for a ball. Hits 1-0 and to Rook Matazowski. Paul fires low again to Matazowski, 2-0. Matazowski 0 for 1 here in the night cap with a fielder's choice and a walk. She homered in game number one and drove in two. The 2-0. Two -oh. Strike at the handles, 2-1. and one. Carson Newman an 8-4 lead on uh, the University of Virginia's College at Wise and the Highland Cavaliers. Wise jumped out to a 3-0 advantage, the 2-1. Matazowski will pop it down the right field line. Frazier racing in from right and makes the grab to get Matazowski. That's out number one. And it brings up Brooklyn Lucero. Other games in the sack today. There's one other league game. 
That's with Limestone traveling to Anderson as Lucero pelts this one back up the box. It rolls all the way to the warning track and is scooped up by the center fielder, Gibson, who gets it in quickly to Mills, keeping Lucero to a single. One out rip for Brooklyn Lucero. And Carson Newman has a base runner for Mary Vandergriff to work with. Now Limestone's at Anderson. Trojans won game one, eight to one. Game two's in the top of the seventh inning and the Trojans are in the driver's seat, seven to nothing. As Vandergriff takes a strike at the knees, nothing and one. Non-conference action between Georgia College and Coker. The Bobcats traveling to the Snake Pit in Hartsville in Salibi Stokes Field. As Michael Graves has his lineup card out, he's going to pinch run Bailey Worley for Brooklyn Lucero. So Worley comes in to pinch run, and it'll be 0-1 to Vandergriff. Georgia College leads the Cobras 3-1 to in game one of a twin bill. That's in the top of the sixth inning from Salibi Stokes Field. 0-1 to Vandergriff. That misses outside, and the touch down, one and one. One ball, one strike, one out, 8-4. Carson Newman leads, bottom five. The 1-1. One, one. Vandergriff will bounce this one through the right side. A seen eye single opposite way for Mary Vandergriff. Whirly over to second. And there's two on board for the Eagles with one out for Riley Sharp. Sharp looking for a rip here with two on and one out. Paul rocks and fires and Sharp takes a strike at the knees, nothing and one. Sharp who has been dinged up looking for her first hit since February 3rd. And hits in both games of a doubleheader against Florida Southern. The 0-1, high for a ball, 1-1. One one. They got hurt in a February 9th game against Christian Brothers, an injury that sidelined her for a month and four days. The 1-1 one bounces to the plate. Taking off for third is Worley. She slides in ahead of the tag of Osmus, and the Eagles... Base runners move up on the wild pitch. So now two in scoring position with one out. Worley doing a good job getting in around Osmus's tag. Two and one to Sharp. Paul pitches, and Sharp will bounce it foul off of third, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Eight four Eagles lead it. Bottom of the fifth inning. In a game that is one hour and 37 minutes old. The 2-2. Two -two. Downstairs to Sharp. It loads the count at three and two. A pop up to center into no man's land. Gibson able to race it down before it could bloop in for a single. And a walk and a run score. The 3-2. Sharp checks her swing and a pitch outside. Second walk of the day for Riley Sharp. And the Eagles have them loaded up for Kennedy Warder. Game ending run to the plate for the Eagles in the bottom of the fifth inning. A home run for Warder would end it via the run rule. Paul pitches and Warder takes low for a ball one and oh. Wise starting to get some life cooking in its bullpen. Sophie Kreese is going to warm up. The 1-0. Paul misses outside for a ball. 2-0. 8-4. Eagles leading. Bottom five. An eagle on every bag. Lucero started this with one out with a single through the right side. Vandergriff followed with a single through the right side. A wild pitch moved the two runners into scoring position before Sharp walked. And all of this with one out after Matazowski flied out to right to start the inning. 
Wind blowing out to left. Ball the 2-0. Order takes a strike on the inner half, 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike, one out. 8-4, Eagles lead. Payoff pitch, or the 2-1 pitch to the plate, pardon me. Misses up for ball three. Three balls, one strike, one out. Sharp. The pitch. Order will hang it high down the left field line. It is on top of the cages. And now you got two balls up there just hanging out together. Two foul balls just dangling in the netting. Three and two to Warder. Somebody's going to have to get up there with a ladder to reach those. 3-2, Warder slices to left on a knee. Barrett Fields tagging and heading home is Worley. The cutoff kicks into foul ground off of third. No further damage done. Everybody moves up a base as Warder drives in a run with a sacrifice fly. Worley scores, and it's a 9-4 lead for Carson Newman. Two away. Bottom of the fifth inning. And Abby Martin comes up after the sacrifice fly. First pitch to Martin. Taken on the outside edge for a strike. Nothing in one. Martin one for two with two runs scored and a double here in game number two. Has two in scoring position. The 0-1. Martin gap shot left center field. This is going to score two. Martin rounds around first. Good cutoff by Barrett to get it in quickly, but Martin does the job. Vandergriff and Sharp both score, and Carson Newman has stretched the lead to seven runs. 11 to four Eagles here in the bottom of the fifth. Two outs, and Martin on first. Brooks to the plate. Paul pitches. Martin takes off for a second. She steals the bag successfully. The pitch was low for a ball. Martin, her 11th stolen base of the season. And the game ending run now 120 feet away for Brooks. The 1-0 bounces in the turf. Martin got a phenomenal jump. And she has third base easily. Martin was moving on the pitch and was halfway to third. We'll credit her with a stolen base on a pitch low. The 2-0. Brooks takes a strike, 2-1. and one. So Martin goes from first to third on the first three pitches of Brooks' A-B. Game ending run 60 feet away. The 2-1. Brooks hits foul back and out of play. It's two and two. Brooks is one for one here in the nightcap. A walk in the three run inside the park home run. Paul, two, two. Brooks swings. This one's bound for center field. Base hit. Game over. Abby Martin scores standing. And the Eagles Walk it off via the run rule. Carson Newman prevails in the nightcap, 12 to four in five innings. And the Eagles are eight and zero in South Atlantic Conference play and tied for the league league, lead league with Anderson and Lenore Ryan. Carson Newman now 18 and 10 on the year. The Eagles have won 16 of their last 18 games. And Carson Newman Gets the job done with a doubleheader sweep of UVA Wise. For our entire crew today, our director, replay operator, and graphics guy, Ian Johnson, our camera crew, Joshua Butts, Rick Ginta Home, and Hunter Williams. I'm Adam Cavalier. Once again, the final score from the Vic Eagles sweep the twin bill. Winners in game one, five to four, and 12 to four in the night cap. Keep it at cneagles.com slash live and on Flow Sports for Carson Newman. Baseball, Eagles down 9-1 in the sixth to Young Harris.
our next presentation of Carson Newman softball comes your way on March 29th when the Eagles play host to the Wingate Bulldogs. Thanks for joining us. Again, a final score from the Vic. Eagles win the nightcap in run rule fashion, 12 to 4. Good night, everybody. <laughs>